gonna get some golf buggies and see what's around. <laughs> what are we up to this morning? Gonna go fill this gas bottle up. What the little chipmunks we are. <laughs> Watch this Elena. This engine starts first time every time. Well good for you, you got strong around for me. It's so nice that it's like really dumb not to get up this time of day. I know. This week I'm not gonna sleep in. It's 6 30. Well it's actually about 6 40 now and we were supposed to be at the gas stop at 6.30, but as always, we are late. So yeah, Riley found the guy who does the propane on the island, and he said to come back at 6.30 a.m. and drop it off with our name on it, and he could fill it up for us. So fingers crossed he hasn't taken all the gas bottles to wherever he's taking them, and we can get that done. No one, Riley? Just gonna leave it here. Okay. We're off to go and explore the island. We're gonna get some golf buggies and see what's around. Just driven into town and um, we're meeting up with Riley's friend, Lewis. It's really funny. He reminds us so much of the dad off the OC, Sandy. He's like, yeah, spitting image. He's going to take us in his golf cart, I think, to the golf cart hire place, and that's where we're gonna hire one for the day and explore the island, like Meg said. Do you wanna sit next to Lewis <laughs> since, since you've got a baby? No, it's so fine. I'm small, it's fine. You sure? Yeah, sure. thank you, you go. Hopetown is a small village on Elbow Key here in the Avico Islands. The main mode of transport around here are golf buggies, however they still aren't permitted to go zooming through the town centre, which I'm pretty sure is to help keep the chill vibe and the village's charm. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Alright, let me get out. <laughs> What's happened, Riley? The brakes aren't very good on this. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god! Hope Town Centre is small but really cute with its period buildings. Any building must adhere to the Bahamian architecture guidelines, which gives the place a heritage feeling. The 2010 census had the population at 458, but I imagine it's grown a fair bit since then. Not that we saw anyone out and about though, but I know the locals are smarter than us and hide out indoors during the hottest part of the day. <laughs> the Elbow Key Lighthouse is, as you'd expect, a prominent landmark. It was built in 1862, became operational two years after that and has been running ever since. So this is the Elbow Reef Lighthouse and it's apparently the last lighthouse to be using pressurised kerosene oil with a wicken mantle. <laughs> we call these bike lizards in Australia. That's beautiful. He, I need to let him go soon, he's getting really excited. <laughs> what have you done? I've, well, I put my pants on back to front and then when I put them on the right way, all the sand came out. So it's been a disaster. It is a disaster. I'm feeling really big today, Riles. I need like something to hold this it together. It suits you. You look good. Thanks. We'll get you a girdle. <laughs> feeling so very big today. The baby's just been like rolling around in my stomach for the past two days. Crazy! 
but yeah, still feeling very active. I'm just like, I get really, really hot. <laughs> My body temperature's already risen. And um, yeah, just being in this heat, it's, it gets unbearable sometimes. I just gotta go swimming. I've spent more time wet than dry over the past month or so. It's been great though. Oh, does that wetsuit stink, yeah, Riley? Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's why you gotta hang it out. You just, <laughs> Riley just like, every time he goes spearfishing, he jumps in the shower and he takes it off and he just yeah. throws it out the hatch and it just lays on the nets, on the tramps which usually dries things, but that, that wetsuit is going to need a sock. It really stinks. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Come on. Way down by There's a guy who did it. When we first met, when you stepped through the ice, got the other foot wet, your whole body turned shades of red. When I saw you there at the foot of the stairs with your f***ed up hair Two weeks after a shot engulfed your whole body You said, who really cares? Who really cares about us? You said, who really cares? Who really cares about us? When you came back Even better through the GoPro. How is that possible? That's How it. happy are you? Out of ten. I don't know. W words just don't do it justice. This is insane. It's the first Kibera I've ever shot, and the first hogfish worth mentioning, and I got two. <laughs> like the first. What did I thought you said? Gentleman hogfish. I'm gonna call <laughs> them gentleman hogfish. Legitimate. This one we're gonna give away. And these hogfish are beautiful eating. We're gonna eat that. So Lewis knows a Bahamian gentleman who is gonna really enjoy this big one. And uh, these ones here, we're gonna keep, as we said, in the family. That one and that one. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Yuck! Bit me. Yeah. That's, good, that's, that's so Thank disgusting. You. That's creepy as. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? It's so interesting. Oh. That palette of theirs is diamond shaped compared yeah. to a lot of other fish, yeah. Compared okay. to other snapper, yeah. I don't want to even So tell everyone why you wear a suit when you feel it. I mean the sun all day long. I'll get sunburned. When I'm working, I don't mind wearing a sun cover. If you go spearfishing, your back's in the sun like all day. So I, I do all this stuff with cover on now, well I've learnt to. And then later on when I'm mucking around, walking around the boat and cleaning up there or whatever, then I'll take it all off. I don't have to do the people. I think it's pretty, you know, wanting to transition to being a girl. <laughs> but then on Listening the other to the hand, Sam Harris podcast, you think it's perfect very for the occasion. On the other hand, a lot of these kids who boys and girls. Oh. If we, you know, you are by... Wow. Oh, he's having a nibble. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's big. He's trying to nudge it. Hey buddy.
Oh, he's taking it with him. <laughs> that night we had Lewis and two Aussies from the boat next door over for dinner. There was enough fish to sink a ship and a spare fillet for our next door neighbours to go home. They were very happy. Pieces of fish and to be able to cook them that well. So, these fish, usually the fillets are about this thin. But the one that Riley got today was a big one. You rarely you rarely see hogfish fillets this fat. Okay. Yeah, but the ones we get here are when you find them are big usually. We have never caught a hogfish. No. So it's very exciting to receive one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it oh, is. Oh, man, it is. It's better it's than barramundi. It's been cooked to perfection. Whoever. Well, good morning, everyone. Good um, morning, Elena. Good morning. This is Caruso. This morning, we are moving spots. We're not sure where we're going to go yet, but we're going to head northwest. And I made some pancakes this morning with three ingredients that I wanted to share with you because they're amazing. They're a success. What I used is half a cup of rolled oats per person, one ripe banana per person. And I didn't measure out the milk that I put in, but just add like plant milk or normal milk if you prefer um, to make the right consistency for pancakes. And I would have added cinnamon, but Raleigh claimed he's allergic. A sweetener of your choice, so I added a squirt of honey. So I guess it's four ingredients, but more so three. And I also spiked it with some flax meal as well, for some omega-3. So it's six ingredients now. You just gotta stick to three ingredients, banana, oats, and milk. But you can add in other things. That's what we need. <laughs> they are bueno. Really easy. I can taste the banana now. Mm -hmm. You don't like? You love banana. No, I love banana. I was giving a guilty look at the amount of butter I was just swinging over. Oh. Right I would call these pikelets. Next week, we explore Man of War Key, an island full of boat builders who've been plying their trade on the island for decades. What's your name, mate? <laughs> Raggedy Andy. Raggedy Andy. <laughs> we also run into a guy that we've previously met who invites us to park up La Vagabond on his jetty and we experience some of the best hospitality and warm welcomeness we might ever have encountered. Right, he's gone wild. Oh! Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> 